Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Balancing Act. Sit back and relax. We'll take it from here. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Biaverdi. All right, today we wrap up our four-part series on rehabilitation as I visit with the wonderful folks at Health South. All right, tablet technology today as our friends at Irulu are back with more great advice on how to get affordable devices for the whole family. I love that. And the sun, you know, can be really harsh when yes. we're driving around town. So what are we to do? I don't know. Get your windows tinted to protect you and your skin. Good We're going to explain. All right, the balancing act starts right now. Our Health Matters series concludes this morning with our final segment about the important work being done at inpatient rehabilitation hospitals. And I'm happy to say that I'm on location once again at Health South, one of the premier inpatient rehabilitation hospitals in the country with over 100 hospitals nationwide. And I'm joined once again by Dr. Dex Ann Cloen, Health South's Chief Medical Officer, and Cheryl Miller, National Director of Therapy Operations. Ladies, I want to thank you again thank for you, partnering with us you. on these great segments. And this is our our final one. And Dr. Cloen, um, let's recap a little bit about what you do here at Health South. Well, Health South is a system of rehabilitation hospitals. So people who have found themselves either by injury or illness, losing function, unable to do the things they need to do in their life, mobility, speaking, thinking, whatever it is, can find themselves being at an advantage to come to a place where they get a higher level of care, where the therapy is very intense, the medical care is very close. And doctor, the last time we were here, we talked a little bit about some of the conditions you treat. Let's talk more about this. We treat a whole range of conditions. The ones that come frequently to people's minds when they think about a rehabilitation hospital are conditions like stroke, spinal cord injury, brain injury, amputation, very dramatic, sudden types of loss of function. But we also take care of patients who've had complicated cardiac conditions, sure. complicated lung situations, whole body infections, multiple trauma. A whole range of people can benefit from rehabilitation hospital services. Dr. Miller, that's a pretty comprehensive list. Let's talk about someone, let's say for example, who has a hip fracture. What kind of rehabilitation would they expect? Well, we often see patients with hip fractures in our hospitals, and the first thing we're concerned with, of course, is their medical stability or their medical management. So our certified rehabilitation nurses will work with the patient to make sure that they're medically stable. They're getting the medication. They often will need a pain medication because of the injury. They may need some wound care because of the wound or the, if they had surgery. Then we move on to the, the therapy part of it, and we're concerned with their mobility after the hip fracture. Um, we're also concerned about their ability to, to take care of themselves, dress themselves, bathe themselves, feed themselves, anything that's interfering with their simple self-care. The final thing I think that's very important to us is the education that they're going to need to return home safely. So it's very common, actually one-third of all elderly adults over the age of 65 will fall every year. And most of our hip fractures are due to falls. So we must continue to provide them really good education about how they can prevent or reduce falls at home. And sometimes that's as simple as having a nightlight in the home, uh, watching your pets, picking up carpets off the floor. We have to make sure that they're safe to go home because we don't want them coming back to Health South with another injury because they fell at home. Strokes are another common diagnosis we see in our hospitals. And there are some commonalities between the hip fractures. We're concerned with their medical management, their mobility, their self-care. But I think the thing that makes it more complicated for us to treat the stroke patients is the injury to the brain. Sure. Mm -hmm. So with the brain injury, we may see things like difficulty communicating, speaking. Uh, we may have they may have difficulty thinking with their cognitive skills, memory, problem solving, reasoning that we do every day. And finally, they may have some difficulty swallowing because of the injury to the brain. So then they may require what we call speech therapy. So speech language pathologists would treat our patients that have strokes pretty often. Dr. Cloen, before you send somebody home, let's talk about what you look for in terms of progress. The key is to have them be safe and ready to continue their improvement after they're out of the hospital. So at the very beginning when they arrive, with the physician's supervision and direction, a uh, game plan is really established. So we work with the patient and their family to decide what their goals are, 
what they need to do to be able to go home safely. So we try to take care of all of their medical needs, all their therapy needs, nursing needs, and send them home with the team sending them off and cheering. This has been such a great partnership. I've, I've been through it and I've seen it and you guys are moving mountains here. Uh, fulfilling, doctor? This is absolutely the best practice of medicine, the specialty of physical medicine and rehabilitation, and Health South provides a setting where that can be done with the patient right at the center. Dr. Miller? I think most of us look our whole lives for a career where we can make an impact with people, change, change lives, and at Health South we're able to do that every day. And they're very fortunate to have you too and you everybody so much, else here. Thank you. God bless your entire team and Health South. Thank you so much. And for viewers who maybe are looking to put someone in a place like this, where can they go, doctor? HealthSouth.com or ask your doctor or discharge planner in an acute care hospital about a rehabilitation hospital. Make sure to use the word hospital. You'll get a higher level of care. And I've learned right now <laughs> the difference. Thank you so much, ladies. God bless both of you. And for more information on Health South and any of these segments that we've done, just go to our website. That's thebalancingact.com, thebalancingact.com. And always join us on Facebook and Twitter. We always love hearing from you. favorite affordable digital technology products are back and so is Elizabeth Little, Director of Marketing for Arulu Technology. So great to see you again. It's great to be back. All right, what tech tips and products are you sharing with us today? I'm excited to show you the Irulu Hybrid Tablet PC. It's a two-in-one combination of a tablet and a laptop and women love it because it's the ultimate multitasker. Perfect. When used as a laptop, It'll power you through your day efficiently so you can be really productive. And then when you're ready to relax at the end of the day, the screen detaches so you can use it as a tablet to watch videos, play games, and read books. This is it, relaxing with maybe a glass of wine, okay? <laughs> what I love from you is how affordable these are. What's the retail price of, of this combo? This is a steal at only $359. What? Yeah, it's a fraction of what you would pay to purchase a tablet and laptop separately. And on irulu.com, you can save 20% today with promo code TBA20. TBA20, and you've sold millions of devices and they come with something pretty special too, I think. They do, every purchase on irulu.com is risk-free. We're so confident that you'll love our products that we back them with a year-long hassle-free guarantee. I love that confidence that you guys have. One last question, what makes you know this tablet laptop combination so such a smart choice for women today well it's great because you don't have to worry about getting up and running on it all of the that's good apps and programs are available right at your fingertips from one touch screen so switching between the laptop and the tablet is a breeze that's great Elizabeth you're coming back soon but in the meantime where can our viewers um, you know go to purchase this combination they can view our full collection on irulu.com okay irulu is also sold on eBay Amazon and Newegg Oh, fantastic. Can't wait for you to visit next time. I love this, love the color. Uh, you can also visit us at thebalancingact.com. Here, you can have that little sweet baby there. Or get social with us. Log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act Fans. Okay, ladies, here's an alarming statistic. More than 50% of skin cancers in the U.S. occur on the left or driver's side of the body. Now, would you believe the reason for such a disturbing statistic may be from driving our car? Yep, driving our cars. Today, we're going to talk about ways to protect your skin from the sun's harmful rays and hopefully help prevent those numbers from increasing. Joining us this morning, Rachel Min from Reno Window Film. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Of course, thank you so much for having me. Okay, I'm really surprised by reading that because I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I get in the car with my girls, I take them to school, I, you know, I'm covered, I don't have one of those cars, you know, that you can just put the top down. I'm protected, no? No, actually that is not true. You should know that actually the, the sunlight, yeah, they have like three different kind of like components. One is a visible light that you can really see, and the other one is ultraviolet and the, the infrared ray that you can only feel. And while you're driving, you're 100% exposed to the UV ray that's gonna, you know, give you at the risk for the skin cancer or the photo raising. Wow. So. Is that the same, let's say, because I'm in South Florida and we have the Sunshine State, let's be honest. Uh, is that the same for everybody around the nation? Well, I will say yes, 
So everyone really needs some level of the sun protection, no matter where you live. Because I'll tell you that ultraviolet light, they're so good at finding you. Mm -hmm. So either you're, even if you're inside a car or home, as long as you're sitting right beside the, the window, they're going to, you know, the streaming into it, and it is gonna, you know, give you the chance that damage your skin over there, so. And you mentioned tints. I'm gonna tell you, I don't have tints in my car. Mm -hmm. So you have a great illustration right. of what it feels like in my car without tents. Exactly. Tell me what this is. So this is a heat demonstration. Basically give you the chance of how hot your car inside, you know? Okay. So first one, this is a, with a clear glass. So when we push it and then why don't you apply it, so you're, how, how do you feel? Oh my gosh, that's really hot. Yes, that's, that's like 100 your degrees. Car. That's your car right this now. This is my car, no tents, no exactly tents. what I'm going into. Right. I, and I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now we have Phantom at 7, 20%. Let's try. Okay, it's it's warm, but it's less. Right. So wow. We have another film we call it Ultra Performance S9 20%. Oh my gosh. Different, right? Practically nothing. Mm -hmm. so, so this is really mm. hot, and this is great. And that's right. with mm. Rayno tint. Yes. So how do I know what tint to get? So basically we should think about the like darkness. So here I have a one sample, you know, the window tint sheet that I would like to show you. Okay. So we have four different level of darkness here. So 5%, 20%, 35%, and 50%. Okay, so, so the smaller the number? Yes, the so smaller the number of the VLT means darker film. Okay. And the higher number is lighter film. So show me with your hand, because I'd like to see this, an illustration yes. of you going to your yes. left now. Right. So you can see that percentage of the light that is going to passing through based That's on the darkness. Amazing. Yes. And it's not really, I mean, let's be honest, a lot of people put mm -hmm. tints on because they don't want people to see them. But right. it's not for that. It's right. more for protecting yourself then. Exactly. There, there, there is so much about the like technology and science behind this. Now, I understand that this is a first of its kind in what way? Because tints yeah. are tints to me. Right, right. But yeah, I want to talk a little bit about the like technology and science behind this. So Rayno window film, we just developed and then were the first patented nano carbon ceramic window film. Mm. So we, we do have carbon film on the market. We do have ceramic film on the market, but we make a unique blend of the both carbon and ceramic. And that makes a difference. Yes, that makes a difference. It just yeah, provides you the like in, you know the superior, the comfortable, and the protection and maximum durability. And Rachel, it's not just for the car, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So window films are also applicable for the home or the office. So first, even if you are inside the, the home or the car, it still protect you from the um, the possible UV rays, you know, the UV damages. And at the same time, after window film also create more privacy for you. Mm. And we developed the science in. In this area too, and we call it smart film technology. So Reno smart film is an intelligent on and off like switchable film created by the liquid crystal, yeah, the window film technology. So it still blocks the UV and the IR rays, but it allows the film to turn on and off from clear to opaque and creating the projectable, like the privacy wall. Gosh, so, it sounds so romantic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I like this. I really do appreciate it. And for our viewers out there who would like more information on Reno, mm -hmm. you can always go to our website. It's reynofilm.com. Reynofilm.com. Mm -hmm. Great illustration here. Thank you. Thank do you. appreciate your time. And of course, head to thebalancingact.com for more information about this Reno sun protection technology. And don't forget to find us on Facebook and Twitter. That really, really. When it comes to our food for our pets, we want the best nutrition, variety, and taste for them, just like we want for the rest of our family. And joining us today is Marie Moody, founder and chairman of Stella & Chewy's, to talk about meal mixers, the newest addition to their family of premium food for dogs, and to help us learn about how this product can add raw food, nutrition, and taste to any dog's diet. Marie, it's so great to have you on The Balancing Act. Thank you. How did Stella & Chewy's come about? Well, Stella and Chewy's came about really out of my kitchen in New York City after I adopted a sick dog. Chewy okay. was very sick when I adopted him. And so as a result, I did a lot of research on pet food. And something that kept coming up was that one of the most important things you can do is to feed a dog a raw diet because it would simulate how they may have eaten in the wild. Can you tell us about your philosophy on feeding dogs? 
the idea is really because they are domesticated, oftentimes people think that that means that they're not really related to wolves or foxes, but they are. Mm -hmm. In fact, their DNA is 99% similar to that of a wolf. Wow. Therefore, they really are designed to eat like they would have eaten in the wild and how their ancestors ate. Right. And so what we wanted to do was provide something people could mix in mm -hmm. with their current pet food, and that way they could get the benefits of a raw diet without having to go all the way to a raw diet. Marie, how are meal mixers really different from other dog food? Well, the meal mixers are 95% real meat and bone and organ with no grains. All the meats are all natural, hormone-free, no added antibiotics or hormones. And the food itself is freeze-dried. So that means it's, it's processed without heat so that it's still raw. And they seem like they're easy to use and that the dogs love them, right? That's true. In fact, we did a, a study with a major university and we found that nine out of 10 dogs preferred their current meal with the meal mixer on it. What are the health benefits uh, that you found when you add this to the dog's food? Because it's a food that's much closer to its natural state than mm. say something that's highly processed, what we have found that the raw food diets can improve their vitality, their coats, um, it can prevent allergies. It's in general, it's again, like for you and I or anybody in our family, when we want to feed them fresher food, the idea is to promote better health. Marie, thanks so much for stopping by. Great having you, great information, great name, love the product. Thank you. All right, and if you would like to learn more, we want you to head on over to thebalancingact.com. You can also follow us on Facebook as well. Share your pet stories with us. Portions of today's program are brought to you by iRulu, makers of quality tablets and smartphones that fit the family budget. iRulu, today's hottest technology without the high price. Well, it's almost time to start your day and hope you make it a great one. Absolutely. And by the way, great is the people at Health South. They're really making a difference and our four-legged animals? They make a huge difference, the too. The patients love them. Thank you to everybody there. Absolutely. Remember to check out our website, thebalancingact.com. You can find lots more information right there. And don't forget, we're also on Twitter and Facebook. Follow us, like us, tweet us, love us. All of that. Until next time, find your balance. So long, everybody.